guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 on this thursday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here if you are new to the channel if you've joined the channel in the last day today the last couple of days or so then a really warm welcome to you really glad to have you over on the channel and if you are looking to have a personal reading done or a one-on-one -on -one session a one-on-one -on -one session which is a zoom session with me with the help of the angels which is all about helping you to regain your power as a divine feminine or to stand in your power as a divine feminine or a divine masculine as well then you can contact me via my email or my website my details are in the description box below and uh, earlier I did a little video that was all about uh, me a message coming through from the angels that you are learning on this journey to uh, detach or walk away from the old patterns of love moving towards the highest ideal of love which is that unconditional love and you are learning to as you do that, as you move towards that unconditional love, you're opening yourself up to becoming the greatest version of yourself. You know, all the things, the gifts and the talents that you have within also coming out as you move towards becoming the greatest uh, the greatest version of yourself and your true authentic self. And that helps you to then really shine your light and really radiate that love, that unique stamp of love that comes from within you, that you already have within. So as you keep moving towards unconditional love, you're opening yourself up more to be able to shine that light, to be able to radiate that unique stamp of love on everything that you come across in your life, you know, everyone that you come across on everything that you do, the things that you're working on, you know, it's, it's like you are just coming out to shine and really live that unique stamp because you are unique. You know, there is nobody else like you for your divine masculine and on this planet. So it's about you just continuing to keep moving forward on your journey to, towards that unconditional love. So do check that out if you haven't seen that as well. And what we're going to do for this video, we are going to bring in the Divine Structure for Twin Flame Readings. I love this deck um, by Liz Harrison and see what questions come up and then we'll see what the angels would like you to know today. So thank you, angels. What messages, what questions are coming up today? What questions are coming up in relation to the journey? Okay, right. So let's see what these are. So the first one that we have here is energy of the divine feminine so we are going to find out what the energy of the divine feminine is let's bring in the almost tarot so thank you angels what is the energy of the divine feminine what oh let's pull those back together back again and start again thank you angels what is the energy of the divine feminine what is the energy of the divine feminine what is the energy of the divine feminine thank you angels so let's see what has come out here. So the first card that came out is separation. Go folded as this came out. So, you know, you are going through this time of separation. And, you know, you may be feeling the pain of the separation from your divine masculine. But you're being asked to understand that, you know, this separation is, is happening to help you grow. As I was talking about in that little video that I did earlier, it's helping you to grow. It's helping your divine masculine to grow as well. It's helping you to release all the things that no longer serve you the conditions and expectations that you learned to put on love from what society has taught you you know it's not your fault it's the way things have always been but now you're learning that highest ideal of uh, ideal of love which is that unconditional love and this is why separation comes in as well to help you both to learn that unconditional love, to release the fears of all the things that you have picked up on so that you can move towards becoming the greatest version of yourself. So it is a time of healing, the separation. It's a time of healing for you. It's a time of healing for your divine masculine. It's a time of releasing all the things that no longer serve you so that you can both keep moving forward towards coming together at the right time when you are in that place where you've released all those things that have held you back from uh, you know showing each other the love that is the true love which is unconditional love so separation is what you may you are going through right now as a divine feminine it's separation only on the 3d as well spiritually you're always together so it's that separation on the physical that is helping you both 
to really move towards becoming your true authentic selves, to learn to love yourselves as well unconditionally. So it happens to help you to love yourself, to get into that place of self-love that will then help you to then be able to love your divine masculine in, in the way that that I highest ideal of love is. And to then also really step into your power and be able to move towards your mission as well. So that's why separation comes in. And the other cards that came out for the divine feminine. So the next one that is worry. So you may be going through some worries in your life in relation to this separation, but you're being asked to release the worry, you know, to really realize, to see things from a higher perspective and understand that this journey is happening to help you to really then come together with your divine masculine at the right time when you are both in a place where you can give each other the love that you are really meant to give each other, where you can really live the lives that you are destined to live. So it's about releasing the worries. Call upon the angels to help you to release those worries. And you are also, the power card came out. So, you know, this is the energy of the divine feminine. This is about you having that power, the divine feminine power coming in from above to help you to keep moving forward on your journey. So you are having that power coming in to help you to stand in your power as a divine feminine. So really, really powerful that that has come out. And the next card that came out is spiritual growth. So divine feminine, you are on your journey of spiritual growth. You know, you are moving forward on your spiritual path, learning and growing as well, which is, which is really sort of helping you to keep moving forward on your journey. And you're going through a time of rebirth. So you're going through a time of releasing the old life or releasing all the things that you'd learned before in your life so that you can become your true authentic self. You're going through this time of rebirth so that you really sort of step into your, uh, your, your true authentic self as well. So, you know, you've got this spiritual growth and rebirth that is happening for you. And that is also going to bring in clarity, clarity in relation to the things that you're truly here to do, you know, clarity in relation to unconditional love as well and clarity in relation to your journey. And the last card that came out is self-love. So divine feminine, you know, even dur during this time of separation, you are learning self-love. So everything that is going on right now, the energy that you are in is to help you to learn to love yourself because everything comes in from that self-love. So you're learning to love yourself. The more you love yourself, the more you are actually moving forward on your journey. So it's about, you know, standing in your power and knowing that all the things that are happening are helping you to get to where you are truly meant to be. So that is the energy of the divine feminine. So the next card that uh, we are um, that, that came out is what are they feeling? So what are they feeling? So what is your divine masculine feeling? So we are going to bring in the divine masculine messages of love. So thank you, angels. What are the divine masculines feeling? 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 Any other message? Okay, so there's only a few cards have come out here. So they are saying, I miss our friendship. So, you know, they are feeling that they are missing the friendship, that friendship that they have with you, their divine feminine. They are missing the times that you've shared, you know, just that friendship because there's never been anyone that they felt that bond with. Even if you just chatted online, you know, there is that bond that you both feel and they are missing that friendship. And they're also saying to you, the Kundalini is rising. So they are feeling that heat. They're feeling that there is something that is going on in relation to this journey that is different from anything else that they've ever felt. They know that there's something special about this journey. And they're also saying, you are my future. So they feel that you are their future. There is nobody else uh, for them because they've never felt this love or this bond, you know, this fire and passion that is coming in when they think about you. So they are saying to you, you are my future. So they really feel that you are their future. And it's really powerful because they're saying, I hope we can start again. So they are really feeling that you are their future, nobody else. And they are hoping that you can start again. So those, that's how they are feeling about you. Let's also bring in my deck and see. Um, thank you, angels. What are they feeling? What is the divine masculine feeling? Okay, so we've got two, oh, a few more, a few cards that have jumped out. So the first one is, I'm working on becoming my true authentic self. 
the person that I've always desired to be and the loving, caring and well-balanced partner that you dream of having by your side. So this is how they are feeling within themselves, that they are working to become their true authentic self. And they are also working on becoming more loving or becoming more caring and well and more balanced within themselves. You know, the partner that you truly want as well. So, you know, that this is what they are working on. This is what they're feeling that, you know, everything that is going on right now with them is to help them to really get to that place of becoming that partner that, you know, that you deserve to have and that they would also want to be. And they're also saying, this love that I have for you is not like the love that I've ever felt before for anyone else in my life. It is intense, scary, yet also amazing and beautiful. This is a once in a lifetime type of love. And this card has come out again. You know, last time I used this deck, the Divine Structure deck, it came out. So this is really showing how they are truly feeling. You know, we asked how they are feeling. They are feeling that this is not like a love they've ever felt before. And, you know, it, it is intense. They feel the intensity of this love. You know, their kundalini is rising. It is scary. You know, they do run away because it, it does scare them. But they also realize that it is amazing and beautiful. So they are basically letting you know that, you know, they they see the beauty and how amazing that this journey is. And they know that it's a once in a lifetime type of love, which is why they're working on becoming the greatest version of the, themselves because they want to then be able to move back and start again with you because they are hoping that you can start again because for them, you are their future. So really, really powerful. And they're also saying, we asked, how are they feeling? I'm constantly daydreaming about us, our future and life together. So this is what they're thinking about. They want that future with you and they're daydreaming about this. Bear with me. I'm ensuring that, that these beautiful dreams come true. So they're asking you to bear with them. They're doing what they need to do, becoming the, uh, uh, you know, true or their true authentic self and doing the things that they need to do for themselves so that they can be able to have that future and that life together with you. So really, really beautiful. This is what they truly would like in their life. And they're also saying, all my life, I never learned to open up to my feelings. And I always ran away from facing my fears. So it has, it has, it has not been easy for me to do, but I've been working on it bit by bit. It is scary, but I am learning and I am healing. So they are also feeling that, you know, they are opening up to their feelings more. They are really feeling this love. You know, they are, are starting to understand that there is more to this love. And they're also working on learning and on healing. So they are feeling that, you know, it is about them continuing to move forward on their journey because they want to have this love with you. And then the last card that they came out about how they're feeling. Every time I think about your body and the passion that I feel inside for you, it is as if I am about to explode. I feel so aroused when I think about what I would love to do to you and with you. So how are they feeling? This is how they're feeling. They're letting you know today that, you know, they are so, they have all that fire and the passion. You know, they, when they think about the body, about your body, there is all that passion within that Kundalini that is rising and they feel like they're about to explode, you know, so they are really aroused by you and, you know, they, they absolutely love everything about you. That's the message that's coming through here. And then the next card that came out is what are they thinking? And I feel like this has already been answered. They're thinking about starting this life with you, you know, again, hoping to start again with you. But we are going to bring in the Divine Masculine 101. So thank you, angels. What are they thinking? What are the Divine Masculines thinking? What are they thinking? Oops, that one. Let's pull this back again. And thank you, angels. What are the Divine Masculines thinking? Any, any other message about what they're thinking? Okay, I think that's that. 
So let's see what has come out here. So what are they thinking? I think about telling you how I feel. Absolutely powerful. So they are thinking about telling you how they feel. You know, this is what they, they are thinking about. They are thinking about telling you how they truly feel, which is that they have all this passion with inside of them, you know, in relation to you, that the Kundalini is rising, that, you know, they feel the intensity of of this love and they know how amazing and beautiful it is so they think about telling you how they feel you know that they miss the friendship that they want to start again they think about telling you all these things and they're also saying i want to introduce you to my family uh, as my one so they're also thinking about wanting to introduce you to their family they just want to have that life with you where you know you are free they are free to do the things that they want to do with you in their life you know introduce you to their family as they want so they are thinking about this and they're also saying i just need some space to think th things through so they're also thinking that right now they need some space to think things through to think of how they can really make the changes that they need to make so that they can be able to move forward towards you so that they can be able to then you know be free to come to you to tell you exactly how they feel so they are just wanting some space as well right now to think things through you know and but what they're truly thinking is telling you how they how they feel so that is what they want to do to be able to uh move forward towards you to tell you how they feel and then the next card that came out is energy around twin flames in separation so for this one we are going to bring in, we'll, we'll bring in the Twin Flame Oracle first. So thank you, angels. What is the energy around the Twin Flames in separation? What is the energy around the Twin Flames in separation? Okay, so let's see what cards have come out here. So the first card that has come out is to trust the journey. So you're being asked right now to trust the journey. It also says adventure at the top, but... The energy is to trust the journey. Divine Feminine, you're being asked to trust the journey because all is well in relation to your journey. Your Divine Masculine is working on th thinking about things, you know, doing what they need to do in their own life so that they can be able to be with you. All they truly want is to be with you. They feel that love for you. So you're being asked to trust the journey because the more you're trusting in the journey, the more you're actually helping your journey to move forward. And the next card that came out is um, about compassion and being kind and gentle. So you're being asked right now during this time of separation to have compassion for your divine masculine, you know, to have compassion about the things that they go through as well in their life. You know, the fact that they feel that intensity and they run away from this love where they truly have that love and they hide all those feelings because they've never been able to open up to their feelings you know they never learned to open up to their feelings so you know that is something that is really hard for them to then learn to open up to those feelings and really sort of deal with all the things that they need to deal with that they've held in for such a long time and it's about you having compassion for them as they do all these things having compassion for them as they work on uh walking away from the situations that they may be in the karmic situations that they may be in that they need to leave so that they can be free to be with you have compassion for them as they need that space to think about how they can make changes in their life so you're being asked to be kind and gentle and have compassion towards your divine masculine but also have compassion towards yourself you know as you go through your journey as well because you are also on this journey divine feminine and the way that you feel also really matters in you know so you're being asked to have compassion and be gentle and kind with yourself you know whatever you're feeling you're feeling that for a reason so have compassion for yourself and be kind to yourself and you know and just keep moving forward on your journey trusting your journey and also the message is to follow your heart so you're being asked you know for the um energy around the twin flames in separation to just keep following your heart you know no matter what other people may think or say about or not understand about your journey you're being asked to listen to your heart that is where you know how you truly feel and that is what will guide you towards the life that you truly desire so you're being asked to continue following your heart and the other energy or for the twin flames in separation is that luck is on your side the angels are saying luck is on your side great 
great things are coming in. You're just being asked to continue trusting your journey because things are moving forward. So luck is on your side. That is going to bring in that union as well for you. So, you know, this is about the energy that is happening for the twin flames in separation. The more you are trusting and you're keeping standing in your power and moving forward on your journey, the more that union is sort of coming in, that physical union is coming in for you as well. But you're ready for commitment. You know, as a divine feminine, you are in this energy of being ready for that commitment. You want things to move forward with your divine masculine. So you are ready for commitment. You are ready for that, for that union. And your divine masculine is working on what they need to work on so that they can be able to move forward towards you. So you're being asked to be compassionate and you're also ready for a family. You know, so this is about that feeling that you're ready for a family, but also your divine masculine is ready for these things. They want these things in their life as well because they want the things that you want. But, you know, they just need to release what needs to go first so that they can move forward towards you. But the energy of the twins in separation is that they have this desire to have that life that they truly would love to have to share that life with each other. That's this for you and for your divine masculine as well. You know, your divine masculine is saying they want to start again. They want to live their life together with you they want to have that life with you and you are also in the energy of being ready for a commitment you know ready for a family so really powerful that those cards have come out about the energy around twin flames and separation and the next card that came out is what is affecting the divine feminine Okay, so what is affecting the Divine Feminine? We are going to bring in my deck, which is the Divine Feminine Illumination deck. So thank you, angels. What is affecting the Divine Feminine? So the card that came out is star. So, you know, what is affecting you is the star. I am the star that is forever shining bright in my own life and onto the world with the aim of helping to make a difference in whichever way I can. I am a shining star. So what is affecting you is for you to actually realize that you are a shining star, that you are here to do amazing things and you are unique and special and, you know, and to really sort of shine your light as a divine feminine. And that is what is going to help to keep moving your journey forward as well so it's about you realizing that you are the star that is forever shining bright and to really stand in your power as a divine feminine to shine your light bright so and we are also going to bring in the almost tarot so thank you angels what is affecting the divine feminine what is affecting the divine feminine wow okay let's put that's literally half the deck let's put this back and do that again thank you angels what is affecting the divine feminine what is affecting the divine feminine what is affecting the divine feminine okay let's see here so the first card that came out is solitude so right now you may be going through this time of solitude which is also a time of you sort of walking away from things that no longer serve you but spending time with yourself you know getting to know yourself as a divine feminine getting to learn that you are that star that is there to shine and you shine through self-love as well so you are what is affecting you is the fact that you are going through this time of solitude you know it's time of being separated physically from your divine masculine but this is a time of growth a time to help you to keep moving forward on your journey to keep trusting you to trust your journey but to also realize the gifts and the talents that are within you to realize just how special you are and to help you to really sort of keep moving forward and stepping in your power so it's a time of solitude but a time that is actually helping you to grow and what is also affecting you is that time of reflection so this time of solitude as well is a time of reflection you know of reflecting on your life on the life that you've always had and to help you to really decide on what you truly want to do what you want for your life so you are going through this time of reflection as well and the next card that came out is loyalty. So, you know, you are loyal as a divine feminine to your divine masculine. You are loyal to this journey because you have that love that
that you have with your divine masculine as well so you know this is what is also affecting is that loyalty because you are sure of what you truly want in your life that you want to be with your divine masculine so there is that loyalty and also you are desiring that union because of the loyalty that you have within you know you are desiring that union and the more you are in this solitude and reflecting on your life the more you're growing within yourself the more you're learning about this journey the more you're realizing that that union is what you truly desire and as you keep growing as a divine feminine this is actually helping you to shine your light brighter as well so the next card that came out is um should i move on that's the question that's come on here should i move on so we are going to bring in um the messages through music intuitive oracle thank you angels the question is should the divine feminine move on should the divine feminine move on so the cards that came out are you are aligned with each other's energy you are thinking of each other and being reminded of each other everywhere you go. Your twin flame is thinking of the future with you and imagining you with them wherever they are. You will be together. So the angels are saying, you are asking, should I move on? The angels are saying, no, you shouldn't move on because your twin flame is thinking of a future with you and imagining you with them wherever they are. You will be together. So why would you want to move on when you will be together? You know, it's it, should you move on? Feel the love that comes through from your heart. You know, this is something that you only you can answer for yourself. But, you know, you can't really detach from your, from your twin flame. You know, that love bond will always be there for the, between the two of you. And you are aligned with each other's energy. You are both thinking of each other and being reminded of each other everywhere you go. So, you know, if you are being reminded of each other, if you're thinking of each other, you know, and you, and the, the, you will be together the angel angels are saying then you know go to your heart and truly ask yourself that should i move on you know you know you will get the answer from your heart because that's where it truly comes from but the angels are saying you will be together your divine masculine is also doing what they need to do to be with you so you will be together and the next card that came out is your dreams will be getting more and vivid and powerful as you get closer to union dream traveling and astral projection are possible at this time and a sense that the dream is real because you are meeting up with your twin in the 5g realms the universe is giving you a preview of what's to come pay attention to your dreams as they are coming true so this is really powerful you know the angels are saying you know you're asking should i move on they're saying pay attention to your dreams they are showing you a preview of the things that are coming in in relation to your life so you are being asked to pay attention to attention to your dreams because they will show you what is coming in with your divine masculine you will be dreaming about each other and you know and there that's a preview or here the angels are saying you will be together so you are dreaming about each other which is showing you that it is all coming in for you so when the question is asked should i move on the angels are showing you that you are being shown a preview of what is coming in for you in your dreams so it's about paying attention to your dreams as well and then the next card that came out is uh, about comic endings. So we are going to bring in um, the, where is it? We, the messages from the divine masculine to the divine feminine. So thank you, angels. About comic endings, what is happening in relation to comic endings? What is going on in relation to comic endings? Thank you, angels. Okay, so a few cards uh, jumped out here. So let's see. The first card is, I want us to start a fresh new beginning. I'm looking forward to the happy future that we're going to have together. So this is showing you that comic endings are coming in because your divine masculine wants you to have a fresh new beginning together. And they are looking forward to the happy future that you're going to have together. So this is showing you that they are comic endings that are coming in. They're working on walking away from the things that no longer serve them so that they can be with you, their divine feminine. And they're also saying, lately I've been fantasizing about kissing you. I miss doing that with you among other things. Things. So they want this fresh start. They want to be able to kiss you. And because of all these reasons, this is why those comic endings are coming in to help them to move forward towards you. 
I've gone through some tough karmic lessons. At times I feel dead inside and I am losing hope of reuniting with you. So sometimes they feel so dead inside and they start to lose hope of reuniting with you but that is just because of the things that they're going through in their life but they're realizing now that you know they need to change their life they need to walk away from these things that are holding them back from the life that they truly desire so they may be losing hope sometimes you know when everything gets on top of them but they know in their heart what they truly want to do and that is to be with you their divine feminine so they are working on walking away from these situations that are bringing them down the karmic lessons that are bringing them down and causing them to feel dead inside so that they can live their life they can find that life force again they can live that life that they truly desire with you their divine feminine and they're also saying would you consider giving me another chance so you know in relation to coming endings they are coming in because they're asking whether you would consider giving them another chance I've learned a lot about myself and I've matured quite a bit since you last saw me. So this is showing you that they are growing, you know, they're learning a lot about themselves and they are just really thinking about being with you, their divine feminine. So they are wondering whether you'd consider giving them another chance. And um, we are also, so that was the karmic endings. This is showing you that the karmic endings are coming in to help them to move forward towards you, their divine feminine. And then the next card that came out is divine guidance for reunion. So we are going to bring in the angel numbers 101 to see what divine guidance is coming in in relation to reunion. So thank you, angels. What divine guidance is coming in in relation to union? what divine guidance is coming in for union okay let's see what cards have come out here so you're being shown that the angels are with you so the angels are with you you are not alone in everything that is going on on the on your journey the angels are with you and you're also being asked to let go of fear become because thoughts become things so you're being asked to let go of fear know that the angels are with you you are not alone on your journey and let go of fear that's the divine guidance that is coming in in relation to your journey let go of fear the thoughts become things when you are thinking fearful thoughts they that actually becomes things so the angels are saying let go of fear think be positive and optimistic trust and believe and that is what is going to help to bring in what you truly desire so that's the divine guidance that you're getting today and also to trust your intuition the angels are saying trust your intuition because it is guiding you towards the life that you truly desire you know when you ask should, should i move on they're showing you that you are going to have that life that you truly desire in your heart and you know you know you from your intuition you know that you are on the right path when it comes to this journey you know how you truly feel so you're being asked to trust your intuition that's the divine guidance that you're getting but we're also going to bring in um the messages from heaven as well so thank you angels what are the messages are coming through what are the divine guidance is coming through for reunion apart from trusting your intuition and letting go of fear what are the divine guidance is coming through when it comes for reunion what are the divine guidance is coming through for reunion okay let's see what the angels are saying listen to your heart so you're being asked to listen to your heart because your heart is what is guiding you when it comes to this love. You know, it's about getting out of your mind too much, the worries, the overthinking. Listen to your heart. That is what is going to guide you. You know, your heart, your intuition guiding you in relation to this love. And you're also being asked to stand your ground. So stand your ground for this love, you know, for the love that you feel in your heart. Stand your ground and keep moving forward on your journey. And that is what is going to help you and the next card that that also came out is you are ready to let go of the past so the angels are saying you are ready to let go of the past so that you can move forward towards the life that you truly desire really really powerful and you're also being asked to see through the eyes of love so when it comes to this journey see through the eyes of love because the more you see through the eyes of love listening to your heart listening to your intuition following your heart that is going to help you to move more 
and to stand your ground when it comes to this love. And the last card that came out is Archangel Jeremiah saying, I'm helping you to review your life. So you're being helped to review your life, to move away from the life that you've always had so that you can move towards this new life with your divine masculine as well. So really, really powerful. And the last card that we have for today is messages from the divine feminine to the divine masculine. So let's see what message that you have to for your divine masculine. So thank you angels. What messages are coming through for the divine feminines? So the first message that came out is feel my love. So you're saying to your divine masculine, feel my love. I am sending you this love, you know, to help you. I am compassionate and understanding about what you're going through. So feel this love that I am sending you. You're also saying we are twin flames. So you are saying to your divine masculine, we are twin flames. You are sending them that message that, you know, there's this strong bond between us. We are twin flames. And you're also saying, I'm sorry that I rushed you. You know, I'm sorry that I rushed you. I understand and I'm giving you that space that you need to work on what you need to work on, to release what you need to release, to walk away from situations you need to walk away from and then move forward towards me when you're feeling ready as well. So you're saying, I'm sorry, I rushed you. And you're also saying, you are the one in my dreams. So really, really powerful. You know, what message do you have for your divine masculine? You are saying you are the one in my dreams. And, you know, there was the card as well but from the angels about, you know, trusting your dreams and seeing the messages that are showing you a preview of what is coming in for you. So should you move on? The angels are saying, you know, you know in your heart that your divine masculine is the one in your dreams. So you are saying to them, you are the one in my dreams. And, and that is about you continuing to see that preview of what is coming in and trusting your journey, trusting in the life that is coming in for you at the right time for you and your divine masculine. So you are saying to your divine masculine, you are the one in my dreams. So really, really beautiful messages today. I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.